Yeah, Ryan, can you just uh, give us your thoughts on as to why this game played out so so similarly to the last game? I mean, I, I would assume that that game would have been a lesson for you guys, and it just kind of seemed like they did the same things. Yeah, I mean, they do the same things all year. That's what makes them a good team. They, uh, you know, they play structured. They don't give give you too much. I actually thought that um, we competed hard. I think when you're down early, it's tough, but. Um, you know, I thought we kept the game a little more simple than we did last time with our mistakes and our puck management. And, um, but that's, that's the way they play. They're a good team for a reason. They went deep in the playoffs last year for a reason. And uh, they got four good lines and six good D, and, they, uh, and they, they're committed to that structure they play. So um, it's a frustrating team to play against at times. And, um, you know, I thought we had some chances. But uh, all in all, you know, hats off to them. They're, they're a good hockey team. Next question comes from Molly Walker. Molly, go ahead. I know this probably isn't something on the top of your mind right now, but having played here and played against the Rangers with the Islanders in this building and vice versa, what are your thoughts on the history between the two teams here and that you never potentially playing here ever again, being the end of an era? Yeah, I, I mean, never say never. They said that a few years ago. So um, who knows? Uh, obviously, you know, a lot of history. It's a fun building to play in. Nice when, uh, nice when it's full and there's a 50-50 uh, Fan support and always good atmosphere. So uh, you know a lot of good memories for sure, especially for for these fans probably. And um, but I, I assume they're looking forward to you know their new their new home. Next question comes from Vince Mercogliano. Vince, go ahead. Hey Ryan, do you look at this as just the Islanders being a better team at this stage, or do you think that you guys didn't do a good enough job of adjusting? Um, no, I, I think we've proven we can beat them over the last few years. I think. Uh, you know, they, they're a good team. I think it's, you know, it's easy to say what we need to do adjustment wise. When you go out there, there's, you know, they, they, they play smart. Like I said, they, they get above the puck. They, they pack the middle. They don't make mistakes. They don't turn the puck over. I mean, I can probably count maybe two or three times where we kind of countered off a mistake they had. The rest of it, we had to kind of chip it in and go get it. And, um, you know, that's something we obviously need to improve on in terms of, uh, Adding to our repertoire, those uh, you know, creating some greasy offense. We know we can you know make seam passes and play off the rush, but um, shipping it in and creating some zone time. I actually thought we did a bit of a better job tonight doing that than the previous game. But um, you know that's something we need to continue to build on. And um, this team's you know they're built to uh, you know have a good playoff run, and um, it's a good lesson for us. I think anytime we play these games, it's uh, it shows what it takes. And I think uh, you know I think moving forward, it's uh, you know I don't think we need to play like these guys, but I think there's a lot of uh, good attributes they have that we can uh, we can learn from